India, thank you so much for your time today. I'm Timmy Reese with Heart of Hollywood Magazine. I'm so excited to speak about all things Golden Soul Aesthetics. Please tell me about your company and the service that you provide as well. Yes, so Golden Soul Aesthetics is a facial spa. I provide facial services, chemical pills. So I have corrective services and I also have just luxury relaxing services. I like to combine the two. I also do brows, brow tinting, brow waxing. So all things beauty. I help my clients heal their skin's barrier um, and, you know, have nice, perfect slate brows. Nice. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Tell me about your background and how you got into this career path in the first place. Yes. So I am, I'm a licensed esthetician. I've been a licensed esthetician for three years. Um, I was an influencer prior to, and I also am fluent in sign language. So I worked with deaf and hard of hearing students. I did that for about six years, super passionate about that. Um, but influencing definitely ties into what I do now with aesthetics because I'm the beauty girl of my family. They all come to me for skincare, hair care, makeup advice, all the things beauty. So that was just kind of the lifestyle I was already living. And when I decided to move to Texas, I looked into different career fields I could pursue and aesthetics stood out to me because it really, I'm like, this is me already. It's me who I am naturally. So I just eased right into that career and it's been beautiful for me. Now, I don't want to assume, but I'm interested to know about your own self-care processes. Do you go to other people or do you do it by yourself? So typically myself, I typically do do my own facials literally here in my spa. I will lay in my treatment bed. I would do my LED facial on myself. I get all the pampering that I give my clients here in my spa. But I do have some esthetician friends as well. And we will trade services on each other. So when I want someone else to do a facial on me, I'll go to one of my friends. What gives you the most fulfillment when you work with your clients, your customers? What is it about what you do that gives you the most satisfaction or gratification? I would say, honestly, it's going to be the reaction my clients have really during the treatment and after. I can just see, it's like a feeling of zen take over their body. And I can just tell like they feel safe and comfortable and they are really enjoying their experience with me. And then of course, once it's over, how happy they are, how glowy their skin looks and just how uplifted they feel, that interaction between my clients is my favorite part of being an esthetician. Wow, that's so beautiful, India. And I see you're getting like high ratings on Google, congratulations. Um, so I can much. tell that you're very passionate and educated about what you do. Is there any challenges around the way in this industry, the location that you're in um, that you had to overcome? I would say um, I had to overcome thinking things had to look a certain way within my, my career as an esthetician and placing limits on myself. Um, I'm based in Prosper, Texas. So my clientele is really a melting pot of of all different ethnicities. And I think that's a, a huge blessing. But my experience of practicing in the aesthetics world, once I finished school, I worked at smaller owned spas that were more in the city, in bigger cities. So to me, my mindset was, you know, even though I live out this way and prosper, I need to work an hour from where I live because that's where my clientele base is. Those are the people who are going to want services from me, not those who live in my city. So it was that challenge of breaking down those barriers of limitations because I'm right here in the city that I live in and I maybe would have done this a lot sooner if I didn't have that limitation that this wasn't the place for me to build a clientele. Wow speaking of clients is there any memorable success stories or just something a client said to you that will forever stick with you? Yes there's a moment in particular it really stands out to me um, because this client was a last minute client. So she booked last minute. And sometimes even though, you know, you can love what you do, if you're like ready to go home, you're ready to leave. So when I saw her pop up on my schedule, I wasn't expecting a last minute booking, but of course, you know, she came in and while I was doing her facial, she was making certain like facial expressions where to me, it was looking like she was going to start crying. So I wasn't sure 
kind of what was going on. So I asked her, you know, like if she was feeling okay. And then she did break down into tears. And I'm asking her, you know, if she wants to talk about it. And in that time, she didn't want to get into details, of course. But I just reassured her, like, you are in the best place you can be, you know, when you are feeling overwhelmed or feeling heavy emotions. And I'm here to pamper you and take care of you. If you need to cry while I do your facial, you feel free to let it out. And when it was over, um, she just gave me the biggest hug. And she was so happy that she herself chose to last minute come and get a facial. That was her way of trying to make herself feel better. And it was even better than she imagined. So that really is like close to my heart. Wow, I just was touched by hearing that story. That's beautiful, for sure. And, you know, with everything going on in the world, a lot of people are going through mental health. So I can just imagine how you make people feel on the inside, not just on the outside, the way they look. That's just just beautiful, for sure. Is there anything else about your company that you want our audience to know about? Um, additional services, things coming in the future, expansions, maybe? Um, well, I do just want to put out there that I am a faith based business. So God is heavily within these four walls. Um, he is the reason that I have this business. He has orchestrated everything within me moving to Texas, becoming an esthetician. So his hands are everywhere within my business. That's the first thing. Um, secondly, I am soon going to be adding in body waxing and different services like that, that are really popular in the summertime. So I'm super excited to add that to my menu and get some new devices pretty soon. So that one's going to be a secret, but there will be some new devices as well coming into my spa. Oh, congratulations on all your success and you're making an impact in people's lives for sure. In addition to being a, a mogul in the beauty industry, skincare industry, what else, India, do you like to do? Any hidden secrets, gems, interests, hobbies that you like to do that people may not know about? Um. Well, I do kind of post most of my hobbies and things that I love to do. I'm an avid reader. I'm getting back into it, I would say. I'm on my fourth book this year. That's a big deal <laughs> for right. me. Um, so trying to get back into being an avid reader, I would say. And um, I'm also very into fitness. So that ties into health and wellness as well. So I'm very serious about my health and working out. I like to be outdoors, which is kind of hard for me right now, living in Texas with the summer heat um mm -hmm. but outdoor workouts running cardio nature hikes i love love all of that yes heavy on nature <laughs> yes. i love it for sure what advice would you have india for anyone who aspires to follow your career path may not know the basics to even get into the beauty industry or the first thing to do about skincare what advice would you have for them my advice would be to do a little research Look into the career field, the different niches that you can have, the different services you can focus on to provide. That is something that I kind of just threw myself into this career. So over time, that's why my God really just aligned every single step for me because I was just kind of going with it every single day, discovering what I loved. But I do, I would advise other estheticians who are interested in this field to just look into what you may want to niche down in, what you feel like you would like to do the most so you can hone in on that throughout your journey in school. So you can really feel more of a professional when school is over. I love it. Any beauty tips or skincare tips you have for the summer? Yes, sunscreen. I feel like, you know, a lot of us estheticians are talking about that on social media. So I'm going to be the one to say it, wear your sunscreen, because that is the number one anti-aging. Even for myself in my 20s, later in my 20s, I started wearing sunscreen. And for some reason, I feel like you know, I'm aging a little backwards. <laughs> so I do know that sunscreen is key, especially in the summertime. And another thing that I realized a lot of my clients did not know to do before coming to see me is to double cleanse your skin. So that means literally cleanse your skin, rinse, cleanse again. So those are my two tips. Do you have any recommended products that you personally use that you like the best? I love Dermalogica. That is what I use in my business. So for my makeup girlies, 
pre-cleanse is going to be amazing to remove your makeup. That's going to be your first cleanse. And then depending on your skin concern, if your skin is dry, they have multiple different types of cleansers, intensive moisture cleanser or the glycolic cleanser for pigmentation. Though Dermalogica, hands down, is my favorite skincare line. Awesome. For someone who is just discovering you in your services, why should they approach you? They should approach me because one, they will enjoy their experience from start to finish. They are going to be in the hands of an esthetician who genuinely cares about not just the health of their skin, but their inner well-being as well. So I'm not here just to, you know, heal your skin. I want to help you feel better on the inside and out. So they'll know that they are in hands of someone who genuinely loves them and appreciates their business. And a woman of faith as well. Yes. India, how can people follow you online? You can find me at G Soul Aesthetics. That's my business page. Or my main Instagram page is naturally period India. India with an E, E N D I A. I love that. I love that so very much. You are so dope, so gorgeous, so knowledgeable, so talented. And I just wish you continued success. Thank you so much, India, for your time today. Thank you so much, Tammy, for having me. I really, really appreciate this. Thank you. Talk soon. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.